to me. Mm. Whoa. Where'd you learn to kiss like that? And they all lived happily ever after. Of course, you're not derailing this train. You're going to use your animatronic spouses to control ten of the wealthiest, most influential men on the planet. Good guess. There's one thing I don't know. Does that mean it's my turn? Yes. Where does Pushkin fit in? We have a financial agreement. He pays for everything, and I leave him at the altar. Still a bachelor. And with the competition married off. He gets the pity vote and makes it onto Blather Magazine's cheesy top ten list. Everybody's a winner. Except me. I lose a partner. No. You gain one. What are you talking about. Why do you think I stole the device? Is this part of the game? I'm tired of playing games. I stole the device because I knew you'd come looking for it. Well, here I am. Yes. And here we are, hurtling across the frozen Siberian tundra at 300 miles per hour, you and me, with no choice but to hold on and enjoy the ride. If I sit on your lap, there's room for two in that getaway pod. Sierra. I could just leave this dress on and... With my spy capabilities and your ability to manipulate the most powerful men on the planet... Nothing could stop us. Except me. I guess that means no. Good guess. Game over. Next stop for this crazy locomotive is the town of I Win. Population one. Fine. Fine. Let's see. I have something old, something new, something borrowed. Give me that. What about something blue? That would be you. After their heated exchange, the cold-hearted Sierra Nevada literally gives agent number one the cold shoulder, turning him into Frosty the Secret Agent Man. Uh, nothing against you, Tasha, but before I sign this, uh... Ironclad prenuptial agreement that gives me full power of attorney over all your assets, past, present, and future? Yeah, shouldn't I talk to a lawyer? No one matters but us now. You're right. Nothing matters but I... Tasha? What? Do you know Morse code? Should I? Well, this might sound kind of strange, but, uh... Your eyes keep blinking the message, I am a robot, in Morse code. <laughs> in Morse code? I love Morse code. When I was young, I used to do Morse code with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. You just proposed to a robot. Remember Mr. Top Ten? Oh, Sierra. Sierra? I love Sierra. When I was young, I used to do Sierra with my dear old grandpapa. We called him Poppy. Oh, yeah? And what about uh, water skiing with live chicken strap to your feet? Water skiing with live chicken strap to my feet? Yeah. I love to water Where the hell are you? Live chicken chicken trapped to my feet. in a frozen bridal caboose, turning blue from hypothermia. And I thought I had cold feet. On my way. We called him Poppy. Poppy. I don't know. And now, pronounce your man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Next! Mm. Hey, save it for the honeymoon. Next, to you, Tasha Rabatsky. Ooh. Take agent number two to be your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold until death do you part, etc., etc., and you say, I do. I do. Good job, kiddo. To you, agent number two, take Tasha Rabatsky to be uh, your... Wait a second. Uh, aren't you forgetting something? What are you talking about? The, if there's anyone present who knows any reason why this couple shouldn't be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace part. I know a reason. Really? Yes, that bride is a robot. Robot. <laughs> You're kidding. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, You're right. Oh, oh. You all married robots! Pull off their heads! <laughs> <laughs> now I never make the list. I am ruined. I kill myself, and everybody dies with me. Ah, big! Big Russian tragedy! Get him! Damn. Here, let me do it. Oof! Here, let me do it. Hiya! Ow! 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 Oh, here, let me do it. The device is wired. Until death to us part, babushkas. Goodbye. <laughs> he disabled the auto engineer. Damn. Agent number one, I'll need your help to disengage the extremely dangerous handheld Whatever. device. I'll stop Pushkin. The Red Fox is now traveling at the unsafe speed of 301 miles per hour. Please do fasten seatbelts and bring all seats to upright sitting position. We will be crashing into Moscow Station in approximately three minutes. I love crashing. When Attach the double amoxicated coaxial cable to that green one. You're doing the right thing, Sierra. Look, I'm just saving my own caboose. The caboose well worth saving. Thanks, but keep your mind on the job. I'm ready to detach the device. When I say go, I want you to spin around and hit the emergency power breaker. Otherwise, we risk a power surge of a catastrophic proportion. That's right, you genius son of a bitch. Now go! Do it.
done. All systems stabilized. Uh. You were right about one thing. We do make a great cup. Damn. I want to get away, you stupid getaway pod. He's like a toaster that doesn't toast. Oh, Georgia. You don't deserve to be on that list. You'll never make that list. Why not? I am rich. I am genius. You're too short. What? You must be at least this tall to be on Blather Magazine's cheesy-ass list of eligible bachelors. You cheated, Sierra. You didn't steal that propulsion device to get me on the train. You stole it to propel your getaway pod away from the train. If things had worked out, we could have been like two peas in that getaway pod. Goodbye. Uh, why won't you look me in the eye? I'm afraid. Afraid of what you'll see? No. Afraid of what you'll see. Sierra. I lost her. Again? You get yours? Yeah. When he comes to, he'll be sorry that he won't be making another list. What list is that? Top ten most wanted. <laughs> I know. Mm, mm, mm. Nice work, boys. Looks like I got myself a dope on the road. <laughs> oh, I don't mean you, Carlo, honey. And so, uh, how was sex with the robot? It sucked. Literally? Electronically. You mean like a vacuum cleaner? Well, um... Okay, don't go into details. Okay, but, uh, I was just saying. You know, Wait a minute, now you're gloating? I'm you're not, not gloating, you're you You're not know. gloating um, over messing around with a robot. Well, you know what I'm saying. If you had a machine like messing this around, around in your house, you'd never have to leave the house. Yeah, basically, you, you, you've you messed around with an appliance. Well, no, it was the pheromones and the appliance yes. together. It was not bad, yeah, I have so to say. you actually bad. had sex with a, a electronic... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell you what. You never ask me like this. It's just, you know, think what you think. Oh, yeah, that's great. My, it, me, my girlfriend, she takes double A's in her double D. Well, you know, you yeah. almost had... <laughs> You were having sex with a diabolical villain. We did not have sex. And you, you know, you have...